Hello, my name is Ken Goodman, psychotherapist and creator of the Anxiety Solution Series. If you suffer with anxiety, you may wonder how you got this way and if it's possible to overcome it. In this video, I'd like to answer both of those questions with the help of a friend of mine, John. One night, John slept poorly because he had to make a big presentation at work the next day. In the morning, he drank five cups of coffee to give himself some much needed energy. Usually John's presentations go very well, but this one did not. He was very anxious and sweat poured from his forehead. After the presentation, he went out to lunch with coworkers and drank more coffee to stay awake. Rather than getting involved in the conversation, John dwelled upon how poorly his presentation went and worried if this would prevent him from getting a promotion. While eating his chicken, he wondered if it was cooked enough. He suddenly did not feel well and began to sweat. He then experienced something he had never experienced before. Racing heart, tightness in his chest, and difficulty breathing. He thought he was having a heart attack, but his symptoms subsided when he left the restaurant. What John had was not a heart attack, it was a panic attack, a truly frightening experience of mind and body. That night, John's wife suggested they go out for dinner, but he insisted on eating in. Because of the excessive amount of caffeine he drank that day, John slept poorly again. At the office, he had difficulty concentrating and worried he would not be able to get his work done. His coworkers announced at lunch that they were all going to a brand new restaurant. His boss told him, grab your coat, I'll drive. But John stood there motionless. Think about John's situation for a moment. What do you imagine he was thinking as he stood there in the doorway? What do you think he was feeling and what is your best guess as to what he might do? John's thoughts were most likely filled with the worries of the uncertainty of going to a restaurant. What if it happens again? What if I have a heart attack? What if I embarrass myself? What if they send me to a hospital? What if I'm demoted? This kind of what-if thinking is very common for people with anxiety. While he stood in the doorway, he was most certainly feeling anxiety or fear. Those would be natural feelings associated with what-if thinking. And what about his behavior? Well, he declined his boss's invitation and did not join his colleagues for lunch. This is avoidance, and it's the most common behavior associated with anxiety disorders. Thoughts, feelings, and behaviors all impact one another, and in John's case, each made the other worse. His belief that he must avoid restaurants to prevent panic caused anxiety each time he was invited out to eat. The more he avoided restaurants, the greater his fear became, and the greater the fear, the more he avoided restaurants. John stopped going to restaurants not only with his coworkers, but with his wife and friends as well. One night, while watching a movie on television, one of the characters got trapped in an elevator. John began to feel very anxious as he imagined that this could happen to him. His fear of restaurants soon generalized to any situation where he could be trapped or unable to get out quickly, including elevators, underground parking, freeway traffic, and amusement park rides. John's world became smaller and smaller as he avoided more and more of life. And this was very depressing for John and the people that loved him. How does this story end? Happily, of course. John sought out treatment with a cognitive behavioral therapist who helped John change his thoughts and change his behavior. This is what cognitive behavioral therapy is all about. John learned what he was doing to perpetuate his anxiety. He learned how to change his thinking as well as skills to calm himself and prevent panic. And most important, he learned how to face his fears and not avoid. This was all done in manageable steps at John's pace. Now John feels a renewed sense of freedom he is eating at restaurants, giving speeches, and enjoying his life. Whatever the cause may be, you can overcome your anxiety disorder, and the Anxiety Solution series can help. This 46-chapter step-by-step audio guide will teach you tools and skills to conquer panic, worry, compulsions, and fear. To learn more about the Anxiety Solution series and to listen to seven chapters for free, visit quietmindsolutions.com forward slash free. While visiting the site, you can also learn more about anxiety 
and watch videos of former anxiety sufferers as they share with you what helped them conquer their anxiety disorder. Thank you for watching and please feel free to share this video with others who may benefit.